everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video in collaboration with Wheelahan's Pharmacy. I've done tons of these before and they go down really, really well. So this whole look that I created, I've used all Elizabeth Arden or Catrice products, which are both found in Wheelahan's Pharmacy. Even the lashes can be gotten in Wheelahan's Pharmacy, even my nails. Anything in this video that I'm showing you, you can buy all in the one place. So I thought this look would be really pretty for a date night or on Valentine's Day with your love. So guys, if you want to achieve this look on Valentine's Day, stay tuned for the full tutorial. So first I'm taking my Catrice Prime and Fine, and I absolutely love this. It's one that I've been going to a lot lately. I'm just going to apply that over my T-zone area. This is kind of like a silicone base primer, but I absolutely love it. It's really, really, really nice. I'm just going to apply a bit to my chin as well, just because I can tend to get a bit oily there. And I'm just going to apply some in between my eyebrows. Next I'm taking my foundation from Elizabeth Arden. And this is in Cameo. This is like my favourite foundation from Elizabeth Arden. Because I just think it gives you really full coverage. We're going out for Valentine's. We just want to look our best, don't we? So just put a bit of that in the back of my hand. And I'm just going to work that into my face. So next I'm going to conceal under my eyes and I'm taking this Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Correcting and Highlighting Perfector Pen. And I'm just going to apply that under my eye. It is slightly salmon based so it's going to brighten up underneath there. So I'm just going to blend that all in with my fingers. So now I'm going to set that under eye concealer and I'm taking a Catrice eyeshadow. Vanilla and Charles is the colour and I'm just taking it on a Real Techniques brush. You can also get these in Wheelahan's Pharmacy. And I'm just going to pat that underneath my eye because this has like the tiniest amount of like shimmer in it. It kind of reflects the light so it brightens up my under eye area. I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden pressed powder. This is in number three and I'm going to use a flat top brush just to set my face. Obviously staying away from underneath the eye area because we spend enough time trying to brighten it. Don't want to undo our good work. I'm going to add a bit of a contour to my face and I'm taking the Catrice Sun Matte Bronzing Powder and this is the darker one. This is a great bronzer to contour with because it is matte. It doesn't have a real orange base. So it's not going to make me look a bit muddy and I think it blends out really well also. So I'm just going to apply that to the hollows of my cheeks and I'm going to bring it right up to my temple there as well. And I'm going to just apply a bit across the top of my forehead too. So now I'm going to move on to blusher and I'm taking one of my favourite blush products from Elizabeth Arden. This is their cream blusher in the colour Nectar and it looks like this. It's so pretty. So I'm taking it on a stipple brush. You can use your fingers with this, whichever you're most comfortable doing. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit and just apply it to the apples of my cheeks and bring it back ever so slightly. So next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the Elizabeth Arden Natural Eyebrow Pencil in Brownette. I absolutely love this product. It's so quick, it's so convenient and just makes my eyebrows look amazing. So I really, really recommend this. spoolie on the end which is amazing so you can kind of brush all your brow hairs into place. So I'm going to move on to the eyes and because it's Valentine's Day I want to create something really romantic so I'm not going to make the eyes too 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 dramatic. So the first thing I'm going to take is my Catrice Made to Stay highlighter pen and I'm going to just apply that all over my lid. It's a gorgeous like champagne pink type colour. I just absolutely adore it. So next I'm taking Catrice's eyeshadow in Starlight Expresso. I'm taking on a really fluffy brush. I'm just going to apply that straight into my crease with that fluffy brush. And I'm staying just in the crease and I'm only going halfway. So about there is perfect. And then just make sure that you blend out any harsh lines. So once you have all that eyeshadow applied and blended, it should look something like this. Next I'm taking Catrice's Absolute Bright eyeshadow palette and I'm taking that fourth eyeshadow it's just a gorgeous champagne color and I'm gonna apply with a flat shader brush all over my lid all over that Catrice base that I applied earlier on you can even bring it a bit into that brown shadow because I will be blending everything out 
So again, I've gone in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend everything out seamlessly. There's no product on this brush. Just want to remove any harsh lines. Next I'm taking Catrice's eyeshadow in Plum Up The Jam. I absolutely love this eyeshadow colour and I'm just going to apply it with a fluffy brush just to the outer corner of my eye. This is a gorgeous plummy colour and together with that pink I just think that they go really nice. It's slightly dark so that's where the drama is coming on the outer corner. So I'm just going to literally apply it just to the outer corner and blend in it as I go. I want to blend it into the pink that I applied on the lid, just kind of going back and forward so that there is no harshness. They just gradually blend into one another. I'm going to go back in with that pink shadow from the palette and just bring it the whole way in there, making sure that this inner corner as well is very bright with that shadow. So next I'm taking a pencil brush and that same purple shadow and just kind of, kind of bring it into the crease a little bit more just to kind of define the crease just slightly. And then I want to blend it all out as well. So you're going to be left with something that looks like this when you're done blending. Next I'm taking that colour Vanilla and Charles from Catrice and I'm just going to apply that with a flat top brush underneath my brow bone just to highlight it. So just remove the sticky tape now and going back in with that purple colour from Catrice just on a little pencil brush. I'm just going to apply it just that far in so about halfway in. Next I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden Retractable Glide Eyeliner and this is in the colour Black Velvet and I'm just going to apply that into my waterline. Next I'm taking an eyeliner pen from Catrice and this is in the colour 10 Black. It looks like a marker for all the world but it's so easy to use. I'm just going to bring this liner the whole way into the inner tear duct like that so you're kind of making a little bit of a point so I'm just going to leave that like that there for a minute but I'm going to do my wing and I'm just going to literally follow the line that I created with that tape Now that the eyes are pretty much done, I want to add a bit of mascara and I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Mascara. I love this mascara for lengthening and volumising my lashes. Next I'm going to apply some eyelashes. We all love a flutter of an eyelash at Valentine's Day. And I'm taking these ones. These are the Amazing Chime ones, 747. If you want to know how I apply eyelashes, I'll leave the tutorial down below because I'm going to do them off camera right now. I love these lashes because they're so easy to apply. They look really natural. But, you know, at the same time they give a bit of drama and that's what we love. So finally I'm going to do my lips and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. All I know is I'm taking this lip liner from Catrice and this is What Would Rose Would Do. I love this lip liner because it's like a brownie pink colour. It's really pretty on as well. Just going to feather that lip liner just in on the inner corners as well. Just ever so slightly. Okay, so the lipstick that I'm taking is called Hey Nude and it's number 240. It's from the Ultimate Colour range. I'm just going to apply that. It's a really, really, really light nude. But I'm just going to apply that to the centre of my lips. And then I'm going to go back in with that lip pencil and just kind of feather everything together. pretty much it for this entire look. I hope you enjoy this tutorial guys and I hope you have a fantastic date night or valentines or wherever you're wearing this look and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go down and check out Wheeler Hin's Facebook page and like that too and come pop in store if you want to get any of the products mentioned in this video including even my nails etc so pop into us anytime. So take care guys, bye!